Our ride starts at the Patra Railroad Station. The Organization of Greek Railroads, OSE, operates the Greek railway system in the Peloponnese. Patra is one of the largest cities in Greece and is the main port connecting Greece with the large ferries from Italy. A meter gauge railroad track, which as the name implies is one meter wide, connects Patra with the rest of the Peloponnese. The ride is with a red DPU or diesel power unit which will take us to the town of Diakofto, 50 kilometers eastward. These DPUs were made by MAN Siemens in their Greek factory at Elefsis. Much of the route from Patra to Diakofto is near the sea connecting the various towns and ports along the shore. Here a MAN DPU is passing through the port of Egion on a windy day. At the Diakofto station begins the Diakofto Kalavrita line. This is a narrow gauge track railroad, only 75 centimeters or 2 feet 5 and a half inches wide. The trip follows the gorge of the river Vuraikos through its very narrow and picturesque canyon, crossing over it with bridges at many points. From sea level, the track ascends a total of 720 meters or 2,400 feet to the town of Kalavrita, a distance of 22 kilometers. Most railroads are designed to climb at a rate of 3% or less but three sections of this route are too steep for trains to pull by friction alone. The maximum grade is 17.5% and cannot be negotiated by ordinary means. The trains could not climb up and also would tend to slide down. For those sections, rack and pinion systems are used consisting of teeth which are mounted on the track which in turn are coupled to toothed wheels known as cogs powered by the engine and providing traction. The system used here is called ABT, named after the Swiss engineer who patented it in 1889. The speed of the train is 40 km per hour at the regular run and 12 km per hour at the rack system. This railroad line has been in use for over 100 years. In the early days, it was pulled with small steam engines, one of which survives today as a museum piece. More recently, diesel engines, such as this French-made Decauville, was used since 1967, and since 2009, it has been replaced by the more modern Stadler DMU, or diesel multiple unit. Where there was no practical way to construct a ledge for the track, the engineers reverted to excavating tunnels. Some are solid and some actually have opening facing the rivers below. Halfway in the journey to Kalavita, the railroad makes a stop at the village of Zahloru at an elevation of 600 meters or 2,000 feet. This is a picturesque area with a bridge and river making a nice background for a leisurely lunch. From the Zakhluru station one can hike to the monastery of Megaspilion or Great Cave over 2 kilometers and 260 meters higher. Megaspilion was founded in 362 AD and has been destroyed and rebuilt many times, the last time during World War II.
Arriving at Kalavrita, a ride that takes a total of 1 hour and 15 minutes, we find a celebration of the Greek Day of Revolution against the Turks, which occurred here in 1821. After enjoying a leisurely lunch in the charming town of Calavrita, the return trip descends the 720 meters down to sea level through the single track line, exposing new and interesting views of the sheer cliffs and rushing Guraikos River. Using the rack system to also ensure that the descent is at a reasonable speed, we arrive safely once again to the Ekofto.